guys, Shea Bear 1000. Today, we're going to try this thing out that we bought at the thrift store. This little stove type deal. We're going to try that out. We're going to try this, um, these little uh, solid fuel tablets. And this is a little camping gear set that Monkey has bought. She bought it a year or so ago. And we're going to open that up and we're going to kind of do a review on these three items here. Stay tuned and let's get started on this. Okay guys, so we've got this, uh, this little um, grill type thing here, it's a little cooker. Um, it is designed, it looks like, to put a can of Sterno in here. And uh, but we're going to use these tablets here. Now it may, the tablets will probably be too low, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in there to raise them up a little bit. but. I don't know what company this is, but they've got this thing taped on here like crazy. And so I don't know if it's going to peel the paint off this thing or not. But let's get this untaped here. I mean, it don't take, Jesus, it don't take as much tape to hold something like this on. I mean, that's just pure, I'm going to say it, it's stupid, you know, like I said, I don't, I can't find any, look at that, I got to get all this stuff off of here, it may get hot and make it worse, same way with this on here, I don't know what um, brand this is, I'm not sure, I'll have to go look it up, but I'm going to go look that up. I'm going to try to get this tape and this glue off of here. Same way with off the top. And maybe I can find out more information on this for you. So hang tight and I'll be back with you guys. So I've got pretty much most of the glue from that, uh, from that tape that was on there off of this. Now I've tried to look it up online. I've tried to look look it up as uh, tin. I think it's uh, Tangia, Tangia, Trangia uh, stoves. Um, I'm not sure. There's some more glue inside there. Because uh, it looks to me like a container sits there. So I don't know if it's for a small butane. But uh, I, I have no information on it. So I'm sorry. So if you guys know it. Please let me feel free to put it in the comments below and let me know what what the hell this is because I've never seen one like this before. And I, you know, I'm calling it a stove. It may not be called that because it's not. You don't really cook directly on this. I mean, you got to use a pan. You know, um, I don't know if you can put wood in there. I'm I'm sure you probably could. You know, in a pinch, but. We're gonna we're gonna try to we're just gonna like boil some water on here, maybe heat up some stuff I got over there. Um, also, what we're gonna like I said we're just gonna uh, try these fuel tablets out and see if they're any good. They are from Weber, so we're gonna try these out inside here. Like I said, I've got something to put in here to raise the the tablets up closer to this because that's a you know that's a good ways down there for them to sit by themselves. Now this is kind of a just a quick review of this thing. Monkey bought it. I just got a hold of her and asked her if she remembered where she got it at. She does not. But so um, I, I remember it was very very cheap she bought this thing. But she said I think she said flea market. So we've got We've got a small pan, a bigger pan. We've got our two cups. We've got a frying pan. And 
I don't know if these are okay these are our two plates so we've got two cups two plates now this is by it looks like B grit which I've never heard of before and it comes in this bag and from the looks of this uh, it doesn't look like it's ever been used I'm, I'm guessing it's brand new so this must be a lid for that which you can also use as a pan but it doesn't fit that one but uh, so this is like a little frying pan your two pans you can use that for a lid if, if you uh, if you wanted to like that or like that Let's see what else we got in here and we have one set of these are always handy comes in this little pouch here so this has never been used now when we go camping we'll do a full review on this I know we keep talking about it but we haven't had a chance to go I'll do a full review on this here's our little knife now it just slides out of these slots here just like that there's our little knife and it also has a bottle opener on it and we have a little fork and a little spoon we're not going to be using those um, so but I'm not sure this is made in China stainless steel okay so uh, just put that together like that so I thought I'd just get it out and do just a quick review on it's not I'm not going to really review it until we go camping and I'm sure Monkey will want to do a review on it too. There was probably supposed to be two sets of these in here. I imagine I could buy another set and stick in here because like I said you got your two cups, your two plates, you know you got your your big pot, your little pot. Um, this is a lid so it's probably supposed to have another lid for that unless you can use that as a lid which you can that's you know you can use that as a lid if you have to okay so right now I'm just going to be using this and I'm going to move this stuff out of the way I'll see if I can get you a little higher up in the air so maybe you can see better so let me get this stuff moved out of the way and we'll get a tablet or two in this thing and let's start out by seeing how long it takes to boil a little water, okay? Okay, guys. So I found the information on this kit, the Bee Grit. You can get it on Amazon for around 17 bucks, eBay for around 20 bucks, 1960, $19.60 some cents. And um, you can, I'm going to have to wash this out. But uh, like I said, Amazon's a little cheaper. Same thing, it's an AP set. They're not counting the bag, counting the bag's nine. So it's an AP set, so it is all here. And I also found out the silverware that's inside there must not have came with it because it is not showing it on anything that I've brought up. So it seems to be like a nice, a nice little cookware set. So let me wash this off and we'll put some water in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got this beer can here. I just kind of smashed it down. I'm going to set this inside of here so that way I can, you know, raise the, get the, um, there you go. You know what I mean? Get these tablets up a little closer. So I'm going to start. Here's the, these fuel tablets. Um, I think, let's see here, I think what I'm going to do, these things are great, I have used these before, now of course, you know, I, I, I just love to use, uh, you know, regular wood, regular wood when possible, but I have used these before and they work great in little stoves like this. So let me see if I can. Okay. I don't 
don't know if that's going to, yeah, that should work. Okay, now let's get that lit up. And there that is. Alright, so now, wow, it, I might have been able to set it down there on, on, the, on the bottom. But, we've got our little pan here. And I have two cups of water here. Let's see how much this pan will hold. Okay, we'll hold two cups. All right. So we're going to set this on here. Just like that. And we're going to set our timer. So I got a stopwatch here. Okay. It's running. So yeah, I may have been able to put that clear down on the bottom. Now, we've got a lid here. Let's put a lid on this thing. And maybe that and that's only one um one tablet, so um wow, yeah, it's got it's got quite a flame underneath there. Which I'm gonna have to turn this fan on. Just to kind of get rid of the fumes here. So. So let's see if that boils the water. Okay, so it's been nine minutes, ten seconds on one tablet. Let's see what the temperature is of the water. So you can say you'll get, you know, about 10 minutes out of one tablet. We're up to 172 degrees. Water boils at 212. So, I mean, that's, you know, 176 degrees is enough for a cup of coffee. Uh, it's probably enough to make some top ramen noodles, okay? So we're looking at, it got it up to 176 degrees. So what I'm going to do is, I've got a different method here. Okay, so I have cut, cut this like that. So I'm going to try to get this out of here. Without making too big of a mess here. There we go. I'm going to move this over here out of the way. We're going to use two tablets this time. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can put one on top of the other. And see what it takes to get to get that water to boil. Now, of course, it's already hot, so we're going to start with water that's not already started to boil. Okay, so let's get that in there. We know that's two cups, and usually backpackers usually only need about one cup of water you know to make some coffee but for two people I'm thinking you know one tablet is going to be just fine see that's cold that's not hot water now let's go ahead and light that up And let's start our timer again. Now let's see how long that takes. Okay, there, right there is, let me turn this down. 
There's nine minutes, ten seconds, okay? So that's with the two. Let's see what we've got. And we do have a rolling boil. Very good. So should be around 212 degrees. Let's find out. Yeah, there's uh, two of four, two of six. There's two ten. There's two twelve. 212 degrees. So of course it's going down fast. Now. I want to take this off of here. I'm going to wash this up. I have some potatoes and gravy left over from a roast I made last night. I'm going to take that can out of there and I'm actually going to put the tablet right on the on the bottom and we'll see if we can heat heat the because it's after lunch. I'm getting hungry. We'll see if we can heat them potatoes and that gravy up, okay? Okay, so I've got my food in here. I've got um my little, uh, I put a little block underneath the the thing there because I didn't want the stove top to get too hot. I know that's what it's made for, but just in case, you know, I didn't want it centered in one, one spot. Uh, surprisingly, that, that pan cleaned up fairly easy. With some SOS pad, that thing will clean up very nice. So I got my food in here. What I don't like about these tablets is the smoke you're getting off of it you know so let's turn this up uh, but that's what they're for so as you can see it's for these little grills and stuff these little cookers now overall so far this thing is cool the only thing if you're backpacking that's not going to be you know that's too big and bulky to put in your backpack. If it folded up, it would be nice. But like I said, we live in a state that has a lot, a lot of hurricanes. Uh, we get a hurricane once a year around here. We get storms, sometimes the power goes out. Or stays on pretty good, but uh, a lot of times your power will go out down here. So that'll be good for that. Uh, move it over here under the fan a little more. Uh, the cook kit, the mess kit, yeah, it's getting a two. It's definitely getting a two thumbs up for me. I like it. I forget what she gave for it, but it was only a couple bucks. I do remember that. It was cheap. It's never been used, so I'm gonna cook my food up here and have my lunch. Okay, so that's one tablet. It burned out um, pretty much a lot quicker, but it's been four minutes. See what the temperature is on this um, so yeah and these these tablets are good for starting fires and starting your um, what are they call there the uh, like the rapid fire the chimney starter um, there's 125 degrees right there so if I would have put two in there that would have heated that up just fine so yeah I think it's I think it's okay for what we're going to be using it for if you're car camping and you're not you really don't have to worry about weight or anything like that I think it would uh, I think it would be fine um, see there it's starting to perk up again already over there so but if you're not worried about weight or uh, or room you know if that's not an issue for you that'll be good that'll be like I said that'll be good for us um, those things are non-toxic too by the way are supposed to be um, it says odorless I can smell it a little bit there's 141 degrees by putting the second tablet on 150 I mean, it's pretty much getting to a boil. There's 163. But if it's not, you know, that's good for like, if you just want a quick cup of coffee, you don't want to build a fire because, it's, you know, it's hot. You don't want to build a fire at 7 o'clock in the morning just to have a cup of coffee. 
then I think it's fine. I probably didn't need to use that other one on there, but I did. There's 197, so it's on the point of almost boiling right now. 199, 201, um, so there's 204, 206. Let's let it bring, let it bring it to a boil. There's 210. Come on, a little bit more. You know, since I put the lid on, it helped it. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, what, that, them potatoes smell good, though. I took this out, so it dropped down to 208. But yeah, that's, I mean, so yeah, it'll be good for us. It depends on what you're going to want to use it for. Whether you're, if you're backpacking, no. You're, you're not going to want to use, use that thing there. Um, these things seem to break, break up fairly easy. You know, you see that white stuff around there. So backpacking, I don't know if you can keep them from breaking up. These would be great for you. I mean, they'd be awesome. Backpacking this thing, no. The mess kit, yes, it is a good backpacking mess kit. It even advertises as as for backpacking. Let's see if we can bring it up here what it's up to now. It's climbing pretty quick now. So two tablets. Let's see if it'll go to 212. If it goes to 212, then we'll see what the time is on our timer. Two six, two oh eight, two ten. There's two twelve right there. So that is boiling. Two ten is dropping quick as you can see, but it was two twelve, which is boiling. And that was eight minutes. So, yeah, I guess it is better not to have it up closer. And there is less smoke. I did notice that. So, I, I give this a two thumbs up, but depending on your use, like I said. Now, it is after lunch. It's a quarter after one. So, I'm going to eat my lunch. And uh, I, I, give, I give the tablets, I give them a two thumbs up. They do break apart real easy, but if you keep them in the package, you know, they they you know they should hold together pretty good. If you're backpacking, um, you know, I don't know about them, just take a couple with you. Uh, the stove for backpacking, no, it's it's a little it's a little too bulky for a backpacker, but for our circumstances, what we're we're gonna use it for, which I will use it, it's gonna be fine. Uh, it's a two thumbs up for that for backpacking and one thumbs up because it is handy but it does not fold up. Uh, the mess kit. Eight piece, nine if you count the bag. Like I said, the, the, the silverware did not come in it. So someone put that in there and just never used it or they cleaned it up very well because it, it is stainless steel. So this, uh, definitely a two thumbs up. And it is pretty much all around. It's, it'd be great for camping, backpacking, and whatever so far. Um, it's They're not real, real sturdy. You know, this one's pretty sturdy. Um, they're just stainless steel. But I think, uh, and, and stainless steel does clean up pretty good. So I think they would be they would be handy, especially for the price. 17 bucks, what the hell, right? You get eight pieces. So there you go. Um, all in all, two thumbs up for everything. But... And like I said, depends on it depends the stove part, depends on what your usage is. Uh, but the rest of it, yeah, it's all, it's all good. So I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me for uh, this little review of these items. Um, and uh, I'm going to say uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And Shea Bear the Myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. Now stay tuned, okay, because the end of this week. I'm going to tell you where we're going to go and what we're doing for Halloween, okay? 
So you're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a live stream and it's going to be awesome. Uh, Saturday, we're going to a festival here in town. It's called the Cooter Festival. Yes, you heard me right. Cooter Festival. More on that. So we're going to go that Saturday, listen to some music, eat some good food, have a couple drinks. So I'm going to eat my food. I'm hungry. Thanks for watching again, guys. Appreciate it. Um, don't forget to check out Monkey 1000. Y'all enjoy the rest of your week. Be safe, and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye, guys.